Good evening everyone. This is me with Savi Pandey and you're watching Asia News India. India Bloc wins 10 out of 13 seats across 7 states and BJP secures 2. In a landslide victory in the assembly by polls, the opposition India Bloc on Saturday bagged 10 out of 13 seats that went to polling across 7 states. BJP which after the 2024 Lok Sabha election managed to retain power at the center with the help of its NDA allies faced a major setback in the polls as it could pull off only two seats the by polls were held in west bengal madhya pradesh bihar punjab himachal pradesh uttarakhand and tamil nadu besides west bengal himachal pradesh tamil nadu and punjab where the india bloc is in power The opposition alliance also won seats in Bihar and Uttarakhand which are BJP ruled states. However, Himachal Pradesh's Hamirpur seat was won by BJP's Ashish Sharma. By elections in Himachal were necessitated after three former independent MLAs Hoshar Singh from Dehra and Kangra, Ashish Sharma from Hamirpur and Kail Thakur from Nalagarh and Solan had resigned in March this year and joined the Bharatiya Janata Party. BJP gave tickets to all the three former independent MLAs. The Congress had fielded Kamlesh Thakur, the wife of Chief Minister Sukhbinder Singh, against BJP's Hoshar Singh in Dehra, Pushpender Verma against BJP's Ashish Sharma in Hamirpur, and Hardeep Singh Bawa against BJP's Kail Thakur in Nalagarh. In a litmus test for the former three independent MLAs, who CM Sukhu repeatedly accused of being part of a BJP conspiracy to topple his government, two of them lost the polls, as only Ashish Sharma managed to win from the Hamirpur Assembly seat. TMC is clean sweep in West Bengal. After facing a rude shock due to an unexpected slip in its Lok Sabha tally in West Bengal from 18 seats in 2019 to just 12 in 2024, BJP on Saturday was again rooted in the by polls as ruling TMC won all the four seats that went to polls. Trinamool Congress candidates Krishna Kalyani, Madhuparna Thakur, Mukut Mani Adhikari and Supti Pandey won Raiganj, Bagda, Ranaghat, Dakshin and Manikkala seats respectively. With the massive victory, the ruling TMC in West Bengal won the Mathua community majority, Bagda and Ranaghat Dakshin after a gap of 8 years. The BJP secured Ranaghat Dakshin, Bagda and Raiganj segments back in 2021 assembly elections. However, despite the win, the MLA switched to the TMC at that time. The three seats fell vacant after MLA's uh, Kalyani, Adhikari and Biswajit Das of Bagda resigned for from their posts to contest Lok Sabha polls on TMC tickets. Kalyani, who lost to BJP's Karthik Chandra Paul in the Lok Sabha polls, was re-nominated from Raiganj in the by polls. The Banik Tala seat was won by TMC in 2021 but it soon became vacant after former state minister Sadan Pandey died in February 2022. BJP loses in Bihar and Uttarakhand. BJP which is in power in Uttarakhand and Bihar lost by polls in the states. In Uttarakhand the Saffron party ceded both the seats that went to poll while in Bihar an independent won the election. Congress Lakhpat Singh Butola won the Badrinath Assembly by election on Saturday defeating his nearest rival former minister and MLA BJP's Rajender Singh Bhandari by 5224 votes Another Congress candidate Kazi Mohammad Nizamuddin won the Mangalore seat In Bihar independent candidate Shankar Singh won the Rupoli assembly seat defeating JDU candidate Kaldhar Prasad Mandal by over 5000 votes BJP wins Madhya Pradesh other than Himachal Pradesh Hamirpur the only seat BJP managed to win was Madhya Pradesh Amarvara assembly seat BJP's Kamlesh Shah defeated Congress Dhiren Shah Inawati by over 3252 votes it is a big win for aap in Punjab Aap candidate Mohinder Bhagat triumphed in the Jalandhar West by election securing whopping 58% of the votes. Bhagat's victory marked a significant setback for Congress which fell to third place behind the BJP. DMK retains Vikravandi seat. The ruling DMK emerged 
victorious in the bipole to the vikravandi assembly constituency by a margin of 67757 votes and ndd and nda constituent patali makkal kachi ended up runner up with 56296 votes dmk's anayur siva alias a siva shumagum was in the lead position all through the voting counting exercise and the margin between him and his nearest rival pmk nominee c anbumani widened round after round that is it with me you keep watching asia news india